Ike Buckner Brute might have studied law, but being a lawyer was not what she wanted. Let's meet a lady who gave up a career to follow her passion. Nigeria, Africa's largest country, is synonymous with throwing lavish parties, weddings, you name it. While people spend huge sums of money having these parties and events, this woman has turned planning them into a lucrative business. More than a decade as a pioneer event planner in Nigeria has secured Funke Bakna Obrute, a place amongst the country's leading entrepreneurs. One cannot talk about event planning and consultancy companies in Nigeria without mentioning Funke's Sapphire events. A law graduate from the University of Lagos, she only lasted a few weeks in the field before seeking an alternative. I actually went to serve in a law firm for, but like for four weeks because I just thought, okay, maybe if I went to a law firm, I may still like the law, but I still didn't like it. So I went to work in, a, in an advertising agency, Thai Communications. At least I thought, okay, maybe PR. Then I didn't really know if it was event. I just knew that I wanted to do something that I would be maybe talking, it would be PR, maybe TV. I wasn't sure. So I went to, went to work in Thai. But while I was in time, it wasn't working. The decision to study law was influenced by her dislike for maths and pressure from her parents. Right, right from primary school, secondary school, I was always someone that liked to talk. I thought that, you know, maybe what I wanted to study or should study was mass communication. But you know, about 12 years ago, 15, even then in secondary school, which is about 18 years ago, my parents, I mean, they didn't understand it that you wanted to study mass comp. So what they had said was, oh, you know what, okay, just, you know, study law. And the reason why I actually studied law as well was because law did not, I didn't have to actually pass maths or actually know maths that much. I didn't like maths at all. So I just thought, let me just go and study law. Funke's entry into events wasn't planned, but turned out to be exactly what she was looking for. When I was in law school, I remember then a few of my friends were going to get married. So I was telling them, oh, I'll help you with your wedding. All of them were laughing. Oh, what would you do? I said, oh, help me now. Don't worry, just let me know. So one or, one or two of my friends were getting married, and then I helped them do a few running around, you know, getting this, doing that. And that was just how it started. She recently published a book titled The Essential Bridal Handbook, which was born out of the need to inform and educate brides on how to plan a flawless event. Her company, Zafira Events, started out as a wedding planning company, but now it is more than that. Um, because it was weddings I started with, I just, I knew, okay, I thought maybe it was going to be wedding planning. And then I started with weddings, but then I realized that, oh, well, I mean, instead of weddings, why limit yourself? You can do corporate events, you can do social events, you can do birthdays, you can do all kinds of events. You can do AGMs and, you know, things and the likes. So that's how I, I just like, you know what, we can do more things. It's not, we're not just wedding planners, we're event planners. She talks about what her selling point is and the different challenges facing business owners in the country. You know, people are, are, are more concerned about the bottom line and people don't care about integrity, loyalty. Those things are very important to me. I build it in this office. We're very big about, let the client, what you say, mean it. You know, don't let you say this, you're going to go somewhere, you're telling them you're going to get the green, you give them red. No, be, have integrity, know what you want. Be focused, be determined, because now there are many event planners. A lot of people are going to say, why should I choose you? So what you need to do is, how do you differentiate yourself? How do you make yourself different? How do you sell yourself that people will look at you and say you know what i'm going to go with you instead of going with the next person keeping abreast of the changing trends in her field is one thing she prizes dearly i mean google is my friend facebook is everything online i'm on tweet anything anything that i'll just really know what's going on so keep abreast of that as a working mother funke has no problem balancing her family with her career she wonders why people do i don't look at those things as a big deal i just think that when you go home, I mean, you're home now, your house, so the next thing is to deal with your children and your husband. So I think it's all about you know, being diplomatic and balancing the life. You're just looking at everything and knowing that, you know what, I've left the office, now I'm going home, how do I now deal with the house? The lawyer turned entrepreneur has bagged a couple of awards for herself, like Entrepreneur of the Year in 2006 by the Future Awards. She has also been featured on CNN's International Inside Africa. With a few more things in the pipeline already, Zafara Events is indeed reaching for the sky. When I'm not
Following her passion through certainly paid off, who would have thought that event planning would become a lucrative business in Nigeria? Every girl has at some point in her life dreamt of a wedding day. Today on Trends, we spend time with a wedding planner to understand all that is involved in making that special day just perfect. Every woman dreams of having the perfect wedding. But what they never dream of is all the stress involved in making it perfect. Once the euphoria of being proposed to passes, the reality of preparing for the day strikes. Many are at a loss of where to start, what color schemes to choose, what gown would fit, how the decor will look, what pole to use. Those who can afford the services of a wedding planner readily engage them, but the dilemma continues for the others who are on a shoe string budget. Bumi Obanawu met with event planner Ndidi Obioha of Enthist Events to discuss the intricacies of planning that perfect day. For me, weddings are very exciting. I, I really look forward to it. And for me, I think there's no wedding I've done that I haven't shed tears. Because it's very emotional for me and all that. And for everybody that's getting married, at some point in their life, we would have attended one or two weddings. Now, in every wedding you attend, you definitely have something you take away from that wedding. Either, oh God, this is how I want my wedding to be. Oh God forbid, I do not want my wedding looking like this. So those are the things that you fill out in the forms as the things you want to see, things you would never want to see as a bride. What are your colors? Where is the church? Where church is at times would help you determine where the reception might be because you don't want to give your guests that stress of going from Kapanchan to, you understand, as in miles apart. You don't want to do that. You also you invite people, you also want to create some form of convenience for them. I, I, I insist that my brides, my clients look forward to their day. It's very key. And these days, one of the things that's trending is being able to change a second time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you wear a second outfit. But a lot of times, I like situations where the groom doesn't know. So you, you're, you know, okay, yeah, she's going to wear her wedding dinner. And then the second dress is something, I mean, stunning. And you know, your typical wedding dress, we usually have volume and highs yeah. all the ha, the cars, the that, the that. So the second dress gives you the chance to show all that up to him. She points out a few things every bride should know before the wedding preparations. The first thing when any bride comes to me that's just going to engage, what I, okay, first is sometimes some brides would have identified the venue that they want to use, but even if you have or you haven't, what would determine that first is your guest size. That's a major determining factor because if you walk up, to, if you come up, come to us, I say, oh, you want to have a wedding for 200 people, and then you probably want to use um, like a landmark venue. Landmark will take 800 people, so why waste the space? Do you understand? So the first thing we'll ask you is, what is your guest size? On how to handle the rest of the event, Ndidi has this to say. I always will say to couples you cannot as long as you want a beautiful day you can almost not do without a planner a beautiful and a stress-free day okay you might assume oh yeah you would get a beautiful day yeah but you might get so stressed out towards achieving that just because you did not you didn't get yourself a planner or coordinator so why do that it's a once in a lifetime day you want to look prettiest on that day so from worrying, you cannot stress and all of that. You probably will have one little zit come out the night before <laughs> just because you're like, oh God, am I sure that the corridor remembered I told her? Oh, no, no. Not every bride has an idea of what they want. So how does she handle them? A lot of brides come here and they don't have the faintest idea of how they want to look. Some of them come and they're like, oh, I've seen a lot of my friends wear the 
mermaid dress and I believe oh it will look so what do we also do we also style our brides you might look beautiful in a mermaid dress I might not get away with that look too and it might not look as good so we understand your profile your body structure and we tend to advise you on what best look or what best outfit to go with your skin tone the, you know your your your, the tech, your 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 profiling and all of that one more important tip for enjoying the day after all it is your dream come true a lot of brides get very, the anxiety is a lot for them. They get a bit edgy and all of that, you know, where you see some brides that probably fall out a bit with their mother-in-laws then or fall out with their own mom because they're not just agreeing on certain things and all that. I've had brides that, okay, they just wanted this number, but the mothers get involved and they totally, you know, take it to a different level and that's not their dream kind of wedding. But I always make my brides or my clients understand that, I mean, as long as you both have a beautiful day, even if there are 1,500 people. Just, just be sure that the two of you would have the wedding of your dream. It's about the two of you. There you have it, ladies. With all these tips, you are sure to have a fab wedding. Brides being brides, you'll probably still worry and stress over your day, but maybe now it will be a bit less. Just before we go, let's inspire you with this quote. In the words of Laurie Stavoham, there is a secret in our culture, and it's not that childbirth is not painful, it's that women are strong. And according to Dolores Ueta, don't compromise yourself, you are all you've got. We would like to hear from you. Please like our Facebook page, A Woman's World TVC News. You can also follow us at TVC Woman's World. With that, we have come to the end of today's episode. Don't forget to tune in next time. I am Poinola Salim.